Click, click. Click, 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 click. click Hello. Click, 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 click. Hi. Happy weekend. Welcome, everyone, to Life is Strange Remastered episode four. Four. You made it, team. Two we're, plus two equals four. We're, we're on the other side. We're on the other side. Now, there's one more episode after this. This is the uh -huh. second to last episode of Life is Strange. We're playing the remastered edition. We have played this game in the past. Ah! We, we took out the... We had, like, um, some covers in our skylights because we've been recording and we took them out and it's bright and now we're glowing <laughs> um we'll see how that goes i mean i think you know sun sun moves this way actually sun does not move well sun does move we move but we move around the sun it, yeah. it's look sun also moves sun moves we're feeling we well move. rested thank you for asking we slept 11 hours last Yesterday. night yeah um amelia and i went down hard last night <laughs> uh like 9 p.m <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. had we had a uh, a little uh little potluck gathering to celebrate the completion of our uh recording um, yeah so we we've been producing vocal directing casting and acting in this upcoming video game which we cannot wait to share with you uh once the trailer drops yep, yep, yep. we will share um but we've been working on that since january we built this whole vocal booth for the purpose and then we recorded uh 27 actors total playing over a hundred different characters uh-huh and we just finished this past week yeah, yeah. Uh, no lie, team. I have never in my life worked on a single thing this much. This yeah. is the, the the single densest amount of creativity I've ever experienced, and it's it's just so fun. Yeah, and it was it was honestly <laughs> probably the most fun I've ever had working yeah, on a project. Yeah. So uh, I can't wait to share it with you. I'm I'm also very excited to be uh, to be sharing this cast with you all because uh, I'll tell you what. Every single one of these actors is a genius in their own right, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, shared their talent with us, and we have some legendary voices from yeah. video games you all know and love, games we've played on our stream, people who've been guests on our stream. I, I, it's, I'm, I'm just so excited. And, and speaking about, uh, you know, game development and so on, uh -huh. Amelia and I are working on our own video game that we are developing called The Grand Prismatic. It's yes. also a branching narrative game like Life is Strange. So today, Amelia and I are going to focus on Life is Strange in a, in a, Kind of like our, our, our games club, how we did our Deckard Games Club. Yeah. Um, but we're going to unpack it a little bit as we go, because this is our second time playing through the game. Yeah. So what I really want to focus on today is the types of choices that we are given as a player playing uh, playing Max, mm -hmm. and what is the biggest difference in the choices? Like, is it uh, how she's going to respond? Is it, you know, mostly looking at... Basically, I want to investigate and really pick apart the types of choices that we're given as we play through this game. Yeah, every choice, uh, If the, let's say there's a choice between two things, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna have a fulcrum in the middle, like a teeter-totter, right? So we could go this way or we could go that way. Our exploration today is what is the fulcrum? What is the thing in between that is making the decision up or down? Is it about expressing our point of view? Is it about correctness? Yeah. Uh, like solving a puzzle? Uh, is it about uh, expressing oneself? I mean, I, I feel like that's a lot of what I'm picking up on so far in the first three episodes is like, does Max speak her mind? Yeah. You know? Um, is, she, is she being forthcoming with how she feels mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. is she repressing her true feelings, essentially, right, right. is kind of the biggest thing that I've been noticing. So I would love to encourage you if something comes to your mind of like, oh, this is an interesting uh, uh, de decision or an interesting choice. I, I would love I would love for you to shout it out and why. Yep, um, yep, yep. And if you are a Life is Strange enthusiast, let me know in the chat. Is Life is Strange your favorite game of all time? If it is, type a one in the chat. If it's in your top five, give me a five. If it's in your top 10, give me a 10. Where does this game land for you, huh? Uh, the anxiety, your anxiety. Welcome back for 15 months. Welcome back. I see Amber Rocks is back for 22 months. And Atlas, what's going on, Atlas Moth? Hey, welcome back for Atlas three months. Atlas and Yana, welcome back for 11 months. Congratulations. Uh, I got Grace Kami here, and oh, looks like we got Catnap. Catnap's hanging out with us today. Thank That's you, vibe. Catnap. Vibe. Um, what's going on with that? There we go. Yeah, it's kind of. Um, a lot uh, of stuff on the desk. Creative Annie's back for 21 months. Mira SS for 39. Shy Violet Angel, thank you for the resub. Appreciate you. Thank you very much for being with us. We have literally too much stuff in this room right yeah. now. This is, 
Speaking of uh, anxiety, um, <laughs> we are going to be doing also uh, a stream to get our our streaming stuff back up to snuff. I'm going to do a little bonus stream if any of you are interested in how our stream all works technically. Um, I'm going to be rebuilding our stream decks and kind we of showing also, all the We also have a couch OBS. incoming. Oh, we have a couch incoming. Yeah. Behind us is Otto the Ottoman, uh -huh. who's been a placeholder, but you can see below Otto's feet, We've taped out on the ground some little marks of where we might put this couch, but y'all y'all gonna get a couch again. I know a lot of you been sitting just on various things around the room as we've been hanging out. Yeah. Um, we did a bunch of construction in here, so our previous couches is, too big. wouldn't fit in here. Mm -hmm. So we got a little couch. Uh, we will reveal it to you, I believe, on uh, next weekend. So either yeah. for the finale of Life is Strange or um, some some Ethan and Winters. Yeah, I know. You're tired of sitting on auto, right? Yeah. He looks puffy, but he's actually, he's actually got a really rigid back. Yeah, not the most comfy. He's not as comfy as he looks. Though he's fun to... To sit upon he's, for a little he's, bit. He's, good. he's a five. Yeah. He's a five minute friend. <laughs> um, all the puppers, welcome back for thirteen months. Astro the goose back for seventeen. Time bird, thank you for being here for five months in a row. And it looks like pastels is back for three. Yeah. Thank you all for being here and hanging out with us. Uh, I think we're gonna jump into the game, but right before we do, I do want to mention we have a fun prize. These are our Starship Friendship stickers. Yes, I've been seeing off some of you posting that you've received them with your ticket to ride. Yeah, uh, if you <laughs> your receive boarding pass. These, yeah, if you receive these, we, 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 love, we love to see your posts uh, sharing your stickers. So feel, feel, feel free to do so. Yeah, thank, thank you all for letting us know when they arrive with you around the world. And if you'd like information on that, it's exclamation point gift prizes in the chat. Uh, Lesbian ASFU, welcome. How are you doing? Thank you for thank you for being here for seven months. I appreciate you all hanging out. Amelia's at the controls. Let's jump into the game. All right. Shall we do the do? Let's do the do. Let's do. How do you do? How do you do all? How's everybody doing? What's your vibe? Everybody got enough sleep recently? Well, <laughs> I, I want to give a little bit of a recap because oh, I don't idea. think that's it necessarily idea. gives us recaps. No, we should um, update everybody. So in the end of episode two... Max looked at an old photograph of her and Chloe together when oh. they were just young kids and her uh, magic ability to rewind time vortexed her. We did it. Into the past when uh, Chloe's dad was still alive. And so we uh, hid his keys and prevented saved, an eventual car crash and prevented his car crash um and then we came back and realized oh shit uh this a choice oh shit a moose and uh, this uh this choice has now had huge repercussions to max's life and everybody who goes to her school at blackwell and also chloe so we went to go visit chloe and chloe's in a wheelchair and so the butterfly effect uh, the chaos theory of the butterfly effect rippled if we change one thing in the past, we've changed other things in the past, and we don't know much about it, except for that at the very end of the last episode, uh, Chloe, who was not in a wheelchair, is now. Yeah. Um, Steam Plays, welcome back for uh, two months. Thank you for the resub. Glad you got your stickers. And Cherry Blossom 71 welcome back for three months. Welcome so, back. So shall we jump in and see yeah. how we've altered history here? Let's do it. All right, over to you, Amelia. Episode... Episode four, the, the dark, dark room. room. Fun. Yeah. So a dark room, dark room. Hmm. 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 Aaron Gray says that this is this one is of their favorite, favorite episodes. Episode, huh? What's your favorite episode of this game, team? Hit me with them real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks, pup. All right, crab. There's, there's a crab. Actually, you guys can't see the crab because it's technically behind Brian right now. All right, it's gone now. <laughs> there was a crab. There was a crab. Believe us. We would never lie to you about something like that. Never. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of love for episode four right here. Bikes. Who likes to bike ride? I like to bike ride. Yeah, I haven't been on a, on a bike in a long time, though. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. 
So yeah, we also have been washing up some, some giant. Yeah, the so, storm has brought. So whales. Max, Max has been having these nightmares about this huge storm coming to Arcadia Bay, and uh, it's bad vibes. Life is strange. We're a master. Episode four, the dark room. Moth, welcome back. Two months, welcome back, my friend. Uh, beached whales, bad signs. I feel like that would smell pretty foul, honestly. Yeah. Like, I'm not really sure I would take a nice stroll along this. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh... Pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden, golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Mm -hmm. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. All right. Ooh, all right. So the first first choice we have is do we want to about blame or talking about the accident? So kind of they're in the same the same world. It's just what do you want to focus well, on? Well, I mean, this is a, I guess, a point of view question. Yeah, right? so a point of view question. I mean, let's talk about the accident. Are yeah. you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you... Remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. They could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh, okay. So here with this choice, we can make it specifically about Rachel or ask her, so. What missing girl? So this has to do with how much information we've paid attention to throughout, right? What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. So actually, Rachel goes missing no matter what. That's interesting. Rachel goes missing no matter what, but Chloe has not... Met her. Uh, yeah, has no history. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. <laughs> that was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. 
Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Interesting. None taken. Hmm. So, very different personality. Yeah, yeah. Kind of Chloe's personality is radically different under these circumstances. Mm hmm. Miss Caviar, welcome back for a whole year, my friend. And Otsana, thank you for the gift sub to see. And Lara, Renee, thanks for being here and subscribing. And Andy Sorrel, thanks for the gift sub to read. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Vichelia is ah. saying, I'm thinking that the core of this game is what is it to be at peace with our past decisions, to accept what happened in our life instead of obsessing about changing it and the what ifs. Mm. That's def definitely a major theme here. Yeah. We'll see how that echoes throughout all these choices in this episode. Oh, thank you, Garrett Twitch. Oh, Welcome. It's a pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Glad to hear so many of you have had such positive experiences with this game. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Oh, speaking of, we're gonna go touch grass. That's right, we're gonna do a Tuesday grass touching stream. Join us if you can. We're, we're gonna literally just go outside and touch some grass. <laughs> See how it is. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? Everybody, I wish I could punch your face. Everybody, right join now. us. A podcast, dude. I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. 
along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always mood. to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. All right. <sighs> I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but... It would be fun. Can we or no? no? She just thinks about it? Yeah. All right. Uh, sorry. So cool. Chloe, we have yeah. to investigate your, I'm glad you your so. everything. <laughs> it's part of our, part of how we deal with the world. Spy. We, we spy on our friends' it's nice stuff. nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of Megan. a generic card. I wasn't Megan. very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, spot. Ah, here's the DVD. Are they really giving us the opening of Blade Runner right now? Los Angeles. 20... What is it? What years? Blade Runner take place? I don't know. 2019? That's right. Oh, Dystopian wow. 2019. That's right. If you've never seen Blade Runner, well... You'll, would recommend you'll be in for it uh don't don't start it too late at night <laughs> <laughs> all right it's long but it's also like uh, very sci-fi operatically languid it's not scary it's not scary, no. It's it's Cyberpunk. It's heady and <coughs> Cyberpunk poetry. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Do you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> That's the name, team. You know it. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great. Seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh,
can you, could you please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She specifically she asked us to get medicine for her immediate pain, and here we I'm are so just glad chatting you're about here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I. I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Like, for instance, now when she needs my help, but let's talk about anything. other things. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. So for instance, because we're talking about branching narrative games and how to develop them and so on, one one of the things that stands out to me always is the player, for instance, when like in Mass Effect, you know, like we have to save the entire universe immediately because danger is coming now. And then we meet a character and we can just like ask him tons and tons and tons and tons of deep lore questions. To me, that 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 starts to to rub against the part of my brain that's totally buying it and in. Just as as we're going through, we're talking about yeah, things yeah. That we like and we don't. Because like, yeah, I think if we if we got this and brought it, to, you know, like the, the the moment of that conversation could have been structured right I never before. Thought I'd be delivering the scene more with Chloe, to my for best instance. Friend. Mm -hmm. You'd still do it. It's just the. So it definitely looks like this place is much less uh, cared for. Like the space feels a little more grimy. Do you agree? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I said the same thing when it was uh, the stepdad's It's all about place. you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Wait, well, hold on, Vishali, what do you call it? It was Ludon, Ludo Narrative Dissonance? Ludo Narrative Dissonance, look at that. The conflict between a video game's narrative told through the story and the narrative told through the gameplay. Mm. Interesting. Oh, Vichelia, you know I'm about to read this Wikipedia page. <laughs> Interesting. I'm gonna drop this link in the chat in case anybody else is curious in that idea. So this used to be a garage, and now they've turned it into Chloe's room. Right? Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. 
Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Here you go, girl. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. All right, what kind of pay, what kind of, when, when did you ever get in, when you were got in trouble when you were younger, did you get grounded? Did you get time out? Did you get some stuff taken away? Like what was, what was, what was the motive? You I had to work real hard at it, team. <laughs> I I got to high school and I was like, I better start getting in trouble or I'm gonna use up my little window of getting Next, in trouble. Do you mind turning the page without legal consequence. I would definitely get grounded. Oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Lady Valerian, welcome back for eight months. Oh, My man. parents just gave me the there weird we disappointed. Pancakes. Weird disappointed. Cruelest thing they could say to me. Picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This oh, that photo. picture. Maybe I could. So this is the photo that brought us back in time. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I cannot imagine being in this position. No. Like this is like like such an intense question, right? I know. I personally could absolutely never. I don't I, 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 I think even if even if a, my dearest friend or loved one was asking me this, I would say I'm sorry, but this is Yeah. Not it. I love you, but no. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. Oh, 
was a heavy scene, team. Uh, yeah. Let's focus on the photo. I'm sorry, William. Oh, we gotta use our powers again here. This is a cool mechanic, focusing in on it. So the last the, the last question, the last choice, was very similar to a lot of other branching narrative games where you have a highly important, impactful, moral decision. Yes. So that was, we've, we've had some point of view things. We, we've uh, either exposed or kept information that we had Someday that'll get one of them newfangled computers. I Shared hope it. the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Uh -huh. I know. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Oh. In the feels! In the feels! Team. I think that's, I mean, is there anything more compelling than someone having the ability to change time and then not yeah. and like leaving it the way it is? I know, I know. Well, what's interesting about this is that, you know, no matter what the choice is, no matter what, it's bad for Chloe. Like there's like bad, it's bad no matter what. It's just the question of what kind of bad and... It's just, yeah, it's interesting how even if she was, Max was able to change the outcome of what happened with her dad, it's still, she can't save Chloe, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 it's really fascinating, kind of, a, a, it's a conundrum, yeah. a paradox. Definitely. You know, we have this, to have a power, but it's better not to use it. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of a, I mean, that's, wow. Yeah. Yeah. With great power comes great responsibility. You all know that, right? Mm -hmm. Write that down. Uh, you know what? I think it could be a nice little pep in the step of the mood of the of the vibe. Mm -hmm. 
Crip Crispy Cactus celebrated their birthday a few days ago, and in the spirit of their belated celebration and sharing gifts, they would like to share a sticker with the community. So let's Aww. let's pull a real quick winner here just to pep everybody up a bit. Yeah, let's do it. Starship yeah. Friendship sticker. You know, nothing like a little Starship Friendship sticker to distract you. <laughs> uh, sometimes the best thing you can do for a second is just put your attention on another thing. Yeah. Um, thank you happy all for being here. Birthday, happy, happy belated birthday, Crispy Cactus. Happy belated birthday, Crispy Cactus. Thank you um, for hanging out with is us. Is anybody else celebrating a birthday right about now? Please let me know. Let me know. Shout yourself out in the chat and let's pull a winner. So all you got to do is type a thing. All your subscribers are entered in five times. And if you have a gift sub, one or many, you are entered in ten times. Mm -hmm. now let's get it going. And the first winner is, or the winner is, Itachi underscore one eight three one nine nine six. Congrats, Itachi. Congratulations, Itachi. I'm going to send you a whisper, upper right-hand corner of Twitch. Uh, we'll give you some instructions on how to claim your prize. Please nice. double check your address uh, to make sure it's correct before you hit enter so we can get it to you on the first try. Yeah. And Owl Uncle, welcome back for two months. <laughs> welcome back, Owl Uncle. Wordsmith, welcome. And thanks for the gifted sub to Mama G. Hey, hey, hey. And oh. Caitlin Hayes. How you doing? What's welcome up, Caitlin Hayes? 16 months. Welcome back, Caitlin Hayes. Oh, Stanley has gifted a prize. We got another prize here. Oh, uh, Stanley. From our friend Stanley, who has uh, a message of two prizes. Two. In fact, uh, Stanley would like to share that they are trans and are very happy to find a safe and loving community. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! So type a yeehaw in the chat for Stanley. Uh, appreciate the awesome support. Let's get two prizes pulled. Just type a thing in the chat. <laughs> sending you love, Stanley. Yeah, sending you um, love, Stanley. Thanks for being here with us today. Let's Stanley get it chose going. the door to the left. Stanley chose the door to the left, yes. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, Mary N. Mary N. wins Stanley's prize number one. Congratulations, um, Mary. Let's get another one going. And thank you all for being here and uh, spending your time with us today. We are very grateful to have your fine company. Um, this one is going to go to uh, Kyria Pagan. Congratulations, Kyria. Congrats. And thank you again, Stanley, for the support. Mm -hmm. And Daphne Bourne, welcome back for six months. Alex Team 7 is back for 25. Thank you all so much. Thank you kindly. So we're going to take a little five-minute break as we do each each hour. Mm -hmm. But before we do, Amelia. Brian. What are we going to do tomorrow? What are we going to do? We're going to play Resident Evil 4 Remake as Ethan and Winters. Tuesday, we're going to go touch grass on stream. <laughs> on stream. And you're all going to come with us and touch some grass. We're going to be outside. <laughs> and then on Friday, we're playing Overwatch. Because we, we have to. are obsessed. We are biologically required to play Overwatch. In <laughs> fact, it's how much Overwatch we've been playing that means we need to go outside and touch some grass. Yeah, exactly. We got we to gotta balance the cosmos, right? Well, the good thing about us touching grass is it will have no effect on your allergies. So this yeah, is we, like an we, allergy Yeah, we will be your free. avatar. Mm -hmm. Drapped? <laughs> drapped? <laughs> drapped into Navi. <laughs> um, you can, if you want to touch some grass in, on your own, you can either touch some grass before the stream you could go outside with a mobile device and touch grass during the stream mm. or after watching us touch some grass on the stream, <laughs> you can go out in the world and find some grass to touch. And also, if there is no grass, you could touch trees. You could touch a tree. You could touch bushes. You could touch a bushes. You could touch a leaf. A dirt. You could touch dirt. <laughs> you could touch whatever you want. <laughs> A fluffy, a natural animal. We're just we're gonna we're gonna spend some time in nature. Yeah, you know, it's spring has sprung. There's beautiful flowers. Touch all sand. Touch some sand. Yeah. Touch some moss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some good old Irish grass. There you go. Yeah, some clover. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna love it. Y'all yeah. y'all are silly too, and that's what we like about you. So keep that. Keep that silliness. Let's all take five minutes real quick. We're gonna grab some more hydration. Uh, some hydration at the hydration station. <laughs> Look at so many. Look at the sticker life I'm living. I, yeah. I feel like I wanna. I wanna. What? Which one do you have on there? Oh, you are loved. I am loved. And we got a hedgehog of happiness sticker right, right here. Maybe we should update yeah. this here. Yeah. Uh, did Theo enjoy his birthday yesterday? I yes. think he did. He very much did. Uh, when we got home at the end of the night, he was like upside down, totally snoozing. From all of the excitement and stuff. So. I think it was a big day for the Theo. <laughs> I think Theo had a very nice day. And it thank was... you to everybody who celebrated Theo's birthday with us. He's oh, yeah. him's four years old now. Yeah, big boy. Him's, him's living him him fourth year. Him these, big boy these life. Days. Yeah. 
He weighs over 15,000 pounds. 1,500? Nope, add another zero to that. No way he could be that much. Got papers on him telling us his weight. The record for the weight for a cat is not that much in England. Okay, well, this cat, cat isn't is from here, Abby. You can't, can't be calling me a lair. Calling me a lair. We got them papers on this bitch. Ooh, you <laughs> sure don't know everything about, about a cat. Horse, honey. Cat, honey. Cat, honey. Cat, honey. So, so kind of get over yourself. yourself. Calling me a lair. lair. That's, That's real funny. funny, don't you think? Horse isn't from here. Anyway. Um, if you don't know what we're referring to, just type some of that into the internet and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, we're all going to take five minutes. We love you back. <laughs> That's my favorite song besides the other one, which is, uh, wait, wait. Uh, Hello, is this available? Yes, it is. Please, no more contacting, please. We are sleeping. Huh? <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate you, you contacted, contacted me. me. I know I'm, I'm no longer interested. interested. Please stop, stop contacting me now. I will contact Attorney, Attorney General, General if you do not stop. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Um, there's another one. There's, there's another one. one more that we love. Yeah, the yeah. Other one, the other one we love is... Ooh, Caroline. Ooh, keep my name out. Of, of your, your thin, thin mouth. mouth. What did Caroline do, Helen? <laughs> she, she stole, stole my, my broccoli. Casserole recipe eight years ago. And claimed it was hers. She claimed, she claimed it was hers. hers. <laughs> I don't know how that was. Just, all I know is that one ends with, ooh, be careful who your friends are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how half of you know the words, like every single word, and the other half are like, what has happened? Yeah. Um, did you know also uh, that he's streaming on Twitch right now? Uh, I don't know about right now, like actually, right now, but, I, but I, I did I did see. Hold on, I'm gonna. Lou, it's his name we, is Lou Baron, right? We Lou, can. Lou, I'm gonna Lou, find him. I'm gonna find him on Lou Twitch Baron. right now. I always spell it wrong though. Every it's time. Not the not the village in France. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Spe Lou, there it is. Lou Baron. Lou. Lou L U B A L I N, right? Okay. okay, so if you have not yet been introduced to Lubalin, uh, go on to YouTube and you can <laughs> go on to watch. Inter anywhere on the internet, apparently. And you can watch uh, um, his funny ones. He he's got funny, he's got funnies. <laughs> so go giggle. Go giggle. Here we go, hold on. I'm finding the way. On Twitch! Okay. Uh, Lubalin Vibe Emporium is right. his Twitch channel. Okay, I'm following this channel right now because he's you know there's going to be a time. He's he's making his music on on the on on Twitch, which oh is really freaking gosh, cool. Yes. So if we can find a time to raid over to his channel, I would absolutely love that. That would be a legendary moment for us. Uh, all right, all right, everybody, five minutes. Go get a snack. Get yourself comfortable. Uh, you know, whatever. Pet a fluffy friend. If you want some fresh air, go breathe some fresh air, and we'll be right back in five minutes. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you on the other side. Welcome back, everybody. Click, clack. Click, click, click. Welcome back. Welcome back. How it is, my friends. It's good. It's a nice sunny day today, team. I know it it's is. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Don't let it get away. It's a beautiful day. Choose life, team. Look at you, Frosty Ozzy. Hey, Frosty. Frosty Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi. So here's a game rack recap screen. No, we need to organize. We need to get everything organized around here. Gifted. Thank you, Frosty Ozzy. Oi, oi. Thank you. Let us heat you up. Don't melt them. <laughs> you don't want to melt just, your Frosty Ozzies. Just toast a little bit. Just a light a toasting for you, Frosty. Uh, thank you for being here and hanging out mm -hmm. with us. We appreciate that gift sub group hug. Love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we should jump back in, eh? Okay. All right, back to it. Life is Strange episode four. So we rewind reround and said nah actually no yeah we'll take it how it happened we'll take it how it happened Ooh, hey stelius welcome hey stilaus 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 and pumpkin joy hello pumpkin joy we have played this but so
think I do think that music with lyrics while characters are talking makes it hard for my brain. Agreed. I couldn't really understand that scene because of the music. Eliza France, welcome back for 13 months. Nice. Welcome back. And Langston, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I appreciate you being here. Oh. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. What does that mean? Cryptic. And also, you broke up your own family with the choices you made. Yeah, dude. Because this is a branching narrative. Yeah, dude. Your choices have consequences, and you branched the, the narrative. narrative, and now you're out of the narrative. Dude. Man, it's Warren taking Texas. itself from the narrative. Warren types so fast, I just can't. Yep. Shall Locked I? from the other side. It's definitely shifting some blame onto us, I think, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't want to take responsibility. Look. Ouch. Oh. Oh! Whoops. Oh, damn! Dumped him on a sticky note? Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. I think we there was they flew into the window or something. Right? Ah. William never finished painting that wall. Okay. Fun backyard. <laughs> yeah, let's not go out there again. No. That wasn't a place to be. That's not the place to be. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Better snoop! Time to do what we do best. Spy. ski bee bee bop What's your note say? That note says... What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Manson, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Fun! Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. What's in here? Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. All right. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you and Chloe except for physically by hurting you physically and hitting you. <laughs> Taking care of my family is my number one mission, except for when I hit them. Yes, I overstep bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I've never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have had no secrets. I intend to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch, and you kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me dot dot dot. Not that well, good a letter, honestly. No. I don't feel too bad for this guy. No. He does not have the ability to cope. A cosmic castaway, thank you for being here for five months. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Security cameras in schools, is, that's so a tricky question. cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Oh, so maybe, uh, maybe, uh, 
maybe Mr. Prescott had something removed, you know, the surveillance mm. watching out. I wonder if David is things. going to the party. Fun. Well, the world ending vortex party sounds like a hell. Sounds like an episode <laughs> five kind of moment, right? Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Yeah, hey, David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the... Excuse me. Uh -oh. Just one picture, please. have consequences leave leave it alone yeah. pictures are not that important here <gasps> a lot of snacks a lot of backup snacks you never saw that nest before they're saying take the picture first too late we, we just backed out of there we're like no no no, 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 no. leave that alone all right, we need to find it's something. It's amazing to how much drama this living room has seen. <laughs> to think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Mm. I'm right. so hungry that I saw that and thought it said bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it said bacon. Crowbar, take it. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Not obvious at all. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. What's in the box? Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Wow. Literal latitude and longitudinal no coordinates. Score. Back to Chloe now. Score. Back to Chloe now. Yeah, I don't really. That, that's one thing is it's a little tricky that you maintain the object. Like, there's no object permanence inside of the time warp. This yeah. is so. You can, like, or sometimes there is, and sometimes David there out. isn't. Yo, Chloe, are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely oh, I think we'll have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Right. You keep the stuff in the inventory when you rewind. But I guess that to it me... It looked that, like she was putting it back. Right, right, right. But that, but that goes into my ludonarrative dissonance question that Vichelia introduced us to. You know, it's like... Does that violate my, like my brain can go, oh, time travel, fine. Rewinding time, fine. But rewinding time and somehow this maintaining things from the other timeline? The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just. Go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls, then. 
Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. He can. You girl. can do it. You got that drawing. Now let me. Now let me spy on let you. Let me look at your. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. <laughs> Mustard. <laughs> Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I right, want so you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. All right, so this was a binary. Or not a binary choice. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Oh? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. Mm -hmm. You know he likes you. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, a, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. All right, cool. We've been taking care of that rabbit, right? 
I mean, we've taken care of the rabbit. So we took care of the rabbit once. Do we need to take care of the rabbit more? Well, when we go back to our room, we haven't been back in our room. We've well, been in the she? past. <laughs> right, we were in another still time. She's Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. So what do y'all think of the remastering as far as the, the animation goes? Like the, the faces and stuff. It feels like a like somehow like a little less stylized or something. Like it, it was does. like it was like a little more a little more like a comic book before, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Welcome Raiders. What's up, Juby Jew? Oh, Juby Jew, Raiders, come on in. Come on in, come on in, come on in. <laughs> Welcome to Life is Strange, episode four. Episode we're, four. We're getting ourselves into it. We're sneaking and spying and Rewinding time. Yeah, it's interesting. There's always there's always that sweet spot between do we want it to look more real or do we want it to look more... Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. <laughs> Hey, Eowyn Malfoy, Let's welcome back 23 months. I see Daydreamers back for 49 months and a Cosmic Castaways back for five. Thank you, friends. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. Oh yeah, he was. He could not, his keys were broken. That'll happen if you drink too much, your keys get broken. Greyhounds are, welcome back for eight months, friend. What kind of photo would you enter awesome. in an everyday it's heroes so contest since you. this time? You're way too Good question. Cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on now. Maybe uh I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change. Maybe a picture of a teacher. No need to go there now. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather and the animals. Not to mention, poor Kate that's Mark. so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive in. Hey, Brooke, how are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Oh, Nathan is. I need to yeah, find with Nathan. Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. She's jealous. Hmm. Hmm. I have to mm, go. I see a lot of good info. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. 
I see a lot of you mentioning that you would submit family members for the Everyday Hero contest. Hey, That's good to How hear. Are you? I That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. <laughs> I, I should I go. Mean, Brooke is definitely like not our fan of Max. No. She is like, kind of pissed at her. I think I think maybe this is just a nice moment to be like, not everybody's gotta like us. Yeah. You know, trip, maybe. Whoa! Hey, Zachary. Hey, Zachary, don't Enjoy throw the that big ball. Game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. That's morbid. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, skater boy? He was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. He wasn't good enough for her. Uh, oh. He just skated through us. Why did he skate through us? We don't you want it? Don't skate through us again. Ah! Stop it! <laughs> yeah. Coast is clear. See ya. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. We don't want this. We don't want now that. Let's get into Blackwell Ninja <laughs> mode. Igni the Slayer R6. Congratulations to you. Thank you for being here and hanging out with this crew. Woohoo! Hey! It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Yeah, no, we don't like that. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Check our SMS to see if... Check it on the smiles. SMS. What does SMS mean? Single malt. Single malt Sam. All right. Who knows it? What does SMS mean? I know it's a text message. Short Evan. message service. Of course. Oh, here we go. That's why no... 11... 111. Evan. Evan rolls. You know what schism means? I know you do. Spontaneous craving satisfaction machine. Yoo-hoo! Release the Kraken! Serious if you know, stranger. you know. <laughs> hey, Nemo, thanks for being here and cheering. Let's break and enter. Ooh, jiggling. <laughs> Let us in. No clear signs of a break-in. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. Not now, Joyce. Hold, 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 hold. Time out, time out, time out. Time to fuck out. Photographer Nathan's Brian wants to know. There's no, there's no monochrome camera. That's bullshit. Nobody bought a new camera that was a monochrome only camera. That's a setting. That's a single setting. <laughs> you can buy black and white film for a film camera and you can put a normal DSLR camera into a monochrome setting, but you cannot buy a monochrome $6,000 camera. Continue. Pass it around. <laughs> It's like there's there's a moment in heavy rain where they're like, uh, this guy's retiring. Like, uh, do you want to give us some money? We're going to buy him a watch. And they're like saving up like five dollars for his anniversary watch or something. That is so Chloe. Mm. Oh, my God. Chloe. Hold on. Time out. <gasps> Miles Mem says there are monochrome DSLR cameras. Mi Miles Mem, what? 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 Not for $6,000. What's the monocle? Why? Why would you bother? Why? It's digital. Because he Why wants would you it. He's got it. Why would he you wants limit? It. He's got it. You like his camera? Gee, thanks. He bought it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, this is. 
This is for real though. Now my mind is getting blown. Who would do this? What? Why? Well, that's a that's a twenty two thousand dollar camera. No, it's a twenty two hundred dollar camera, which is very different. Okay. But anyway, okay, maybe he spent too much money on it. I just, I just, I just, I just it offends me. We're offended. I'm offended. Just why? That is so. Oh my god. Okay, so bad picture. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. B. Why? You learn new things every that day. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. This is like buying a bicycle with one wheel. Like, why would you do it? Why? I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. It's so Could have done it on a color camera people. and just changed the settings. The guy has his own style. Oh, I know it's a unicycle, but I didn't say buy a unicycle. I said buy a bicycle Nathan with one wheel. Nathan's way into this party. Bad sign. All right, what's, what's he saying? He's talking to Victoria going, What's up? Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive as you. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious pate favors, even though I told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's fucking do it. Whoa. <sighs> Bastard. People now saying Nathan just wants I to burn. You. And why Kate will get justice. Money. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. <clears throat> Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's just stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Priscott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step as my father did. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, mm. but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. The shithole town is gonna get an enema. Along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. You're fucked. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. Hey, Nathan, far away. From Brazil. <sighs> yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. All right, Manuel. If you've not heard Holy your shit. beautiful wife as a southern That's gentleman, the gun Nathan used on Chloe. Don't let it haunt you when you're falling asleep at night and you hear that sweet southern twang whisper in your ear. You say, "Wasn't you my wife?" Subject. But five minutes ago, and she said, much. "No, no, I'm a southern gentleman." I'm a southern gentleman. Mm. <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Prescott. <laughs> Next time you read Mr. Prescott's lines, I'm gonna pass this to you. Scratch marks. What the hell Hotel are all those and marks and on haunted. the floor? What are we looking for? His. Let's find out what you're hiding. This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. As the days go oh, by. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine world. now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Why don't we take his $6,000 monochrome camera for ourselves? Leave. While we're in the middle of doing crimes. Black Thunder, welcome back for 30 months, my friend. Thank you for being here. And Fantastic Winter, welcome back for seven. Appreciate you. I don't know what I just did, but I tried to make it so that I didn't look like I... Oh, we bashed into this room. Yeah, let's undo it. Nope. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Now, Same are we... Same as it ever was. We no longer have the... I don't know. I don't really understand that part of this game. No, you just got lost in the accent. 
Was the southern twang just confused you? No, I just, I don't really understand if, like, about the rewind of keeping the things. Mandiru suggests keep going, as in keep, keep rewinding? Remember, keep rewinding? You're on enemy turf now, Max. Unbash it? Okay. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Same as it. There, there it we is. Go. Same as it ever was. Reverse, Reverse the, the world, world but, but not, not ourselves. ourselves. <laughs> All right, hey Chloe, I found some shit. Chloe, Damn, you're never gonna you're believe this. Back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. <gasps> what are you doing in my dorm? What? I'm not doing anything in You're your dorm. You're such a nosy Rewind. bitch, Max. Stop right True. there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Yeah. Get off me, bro! Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay, so here's another moral decision. Do we stay out of it or do we stop Warren? I mean... This could be dangerous. It could be dangerous. There's a literal gun on the ground. Uh, 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 I'm, my instinct is to stay out of it. You want to stay out of it? What do you think, friends? I don't know. I, I feel like this could get dangerous real fast. Le stay out of it? Then make it stop? You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! You're really gonna end him. Get I feel bad now! Me. Please. Oh, we just perpetuated a cycle of violence that will never end. He's down. Hey, come on. Stop. I'm sorry. Yes, we have to go. I can't rewind. You can't rewind? Who's the bitch now? Chloe. He took the gun. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan, and it was All right, good. I could, should I rewind but it or scary. let it let it be? I mean, I don't know. I'm starting to feel like Warren might be getting like a extra bad rap. I need to Warren? rewind or stop. Not Warren. What's the other one? Nathan. You know what? <laughs> Shit, man. Sorry. See what happens now. That'll happen, man. Yeah. But I'm saying, just if everybody who ever got punched ends up punching somebody else, then literally everybody Damn. just gonna get punched. That was intense. Eventually. Warren. Uh, Mutually assured thank destruction. Thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. I feel like last time we played this game, we made the choice to to stop so i am curious just to have you know yeah, yeah, played the 
played the breadth of the story to see what happens if... I'm not vilifying you. I'm no. just saying I'm... I mean, I'm, I feel a little I'm, guilty, I'm not, but I'm I also for, feel a little bit not like... Not one for violence, but also uh, some violence. Uh, on the subject, though, I just want to throw out, if you're into indie films, there's a really great indie film directed by our friend Felix, uh, which is called King Jack. Yes. And it is specifically on the subject of breaking a cycle of violence and kids uh, and things like this beat... Yeah. Uh, you know, it's and, and the whole cast is is young kid actors, which is yeah. really cool. Yeah. Um so in any case, uh King Jack, I recommend it. Can't King recommend Jack. it enough. Great. I film. think didn't it It won Tribeca. Yeah. Um yeah. yeah. He's our dude. He's our dude. All right. He's our dude. He's our friend. We're friends with him and therefore we also won at Tribeca. No we didn't. Yeah. Felix Felix <laughs> wins. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. It is on Netflix. Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Let me drop the link in the chat for King Jack. There you go. Fantastic winter. Welcome back for seven months. And Gadi, I love us, Connor. Thank you for the cheers. Actually, hold on, real quick. While we're in between, while we're in between things, I just gotta right quick say congratulations because a prize will be pulled, my sweetheart. Magnolia Sims doth gift double prizes right Magnolia now. In between Sims. scenes, let's do some prizes right quick. If you would like this prize or two from Magnolia Sims, just type a thing in the chat. Let me know you're here. We'd like to send you our Starship Friendship sticker, Aww. which is what we call this amalgamation of monitors and buttons that we can push to make games happen. Starship Friendship. Whoa, what's the Starship? And yeah, that's some friendship. Starship Friendship. Stars. Friends. Friends. High fives. Winner is Wordsmith337. Congratulations, Wordsmith. Congrats. Yo, winner number one, my friend. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Magnolia Sims, for hooking up the prizes. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love to see it. I love to see it. And next up, it's going to have to be AJB the Deviant. Congratulations, AJB the Deviant. Woo! I've sent both of you instructions on claiming your prize on the upper right-hand corner of Twitch. Check your whispers. All right, whispers. back. Okay, back wait, I'm, I'm curious just because this was a big moment yeah. of whether to stop Warren or to let him do his yeah, thing. Yeah, what did you all do? What did you do when you played through this game? And Or did you make a choice and then second guess yourself and rewind and do something different? Yeah, I kind of like that we're sticking with a choice me here. Me too, me too. And, and, I, and I, I know sometimes like there's like a... Uh, a choice in these games that seems morally like superior to the other one, mm -hmm. but then if I'm only playing the g game through the morally way, the, my, my highest moral self, it's very different, right? Yeah. It seems pretty split, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Hello. laughs> Marianne, thank you for the cheers. Thanks, Marianne. Andale. A lot of whales. Yeah. A lot of whales per square inch. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Roll out. Also, I see you in the chat telling me whales can explode, and they can. I believe it. Just sitting there bloating. About to pop. You don't want to be there when that whale explodes. I'll tell you what. Uh... You 
Just seeing the whale explode. I don't like the way Chloe's walking. I don't like the way Chloe's thinking. I. Oh, I feel bad. Hey, Papa Do. Nice. Not gonna peep. Knock, knock. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... Principal Wells has it! Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Uh. Uh -oh. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I... Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! No! No! Pompidou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh. Yep. This... This scene stuck with me. Yeah! I didn't forget this. No, hard to forget that. Yeah, no, I knew that was coming. Yeah. This is why we don't just carry guns around all the time. We don't need guns like this, team. I just shot a man and his dog. Yep, yeah. you did. Bad. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? I need to wait to rewind, friends. Frank I is really this dead. From last time. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry. But wait. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait. No, 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 no. We can't be murderers on the lamb. We no. can't be running it. Or we could leave it. Uh, no. Jesus. That action will have consequences when you kill She killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or Undo the Frank killing. Like we don't kill Franks. And we don't kill Pompadour. We don't kill Pompadour, more importantly. That was kind of like where it went bad for me. All right, Chloe. All right, we never came here. You never saw us. We're good now. We're leaving, no, Chloe. No, we're don't good. you do that. Don't, Chloe, you kill dogs. We, uh, and, and I like dogs. Technically, we could just go to the car now. Let's just leave. <laughs> Let's just go Chloe. slowly away. Come on, girl. Come here. We don't, we don't kill anyone. All right. You have to go interact with them. Can we get it already? So you know we have the info? I'm confused. Yeah, we got like, the information. Don't why 
So this is the thing that is a little tricky, is like sometimes when we rewind, but we've taken something, it stays with us, but then other times it doesn't. So... Because Chloe has it. Chloe's the one that got it. So we need to explain the rules of this time warping to Chloe. All right, we got to re-engage. Listen, Chloe, I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Okay, you need to get rid of the gun. Get rid of the gun. Like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. I just, like, just throwing a loaded gun into the bushes, you know? Oh, look. The what? Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now, why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, uh... Your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. Thanks. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, <laughs> Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank. This isn't about me now. Yeah, right. Okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah. You didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me! We were all freaked out, now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will <laughs> bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? <sighs> yeah, we like dogs. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, okay. that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here, and I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! Gosh! You actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know! You're both fucking crazy! 
What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. Now! Define! Whatever! Just... just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, all right? There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just... just get out of my life! Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Isn't it possible that someone just mentioned your dog's name? All right, we're gonna rewind again. Never saw that scene before? Welcome. All right, do we need to do You're this? You're about to see it again. All right, Chloe. Listen, Chloe. All right, get rid of your you gun. No. Throw it in the shrubs. I. Close the Frank, door. Uh, what about no weapons? Your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? I just don't you want the dog to get me, in. But you're scared. Yeah. There, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Oh, is that? Okay. Same thing. It seemed to work last time. You want to try something else? Sure. Which one? I mean, I want to try something else. I think if we're gonna rewind something, we should do something different. Help or else? Yeah, Help uh, us. threaten them. <laughs> or else. Are you actually threatening me again, little girl? No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I I'm hate threatening you. you. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, we Frank. Understand. Without those Blackwell shits as customers. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you said all this before, we know. We... You shot him. I know. So we have to. Okay. It's inevitable. Gotta shoot him a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Yo, Pidget. <laughs> Thanks for being here and cheering. <laughs> All right. So we kind of have to get that right answer. We don't want to shoot him. Listen, Chloe. Zip zip. Be careful, okay? Oh, no. Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. It's the wrong thing. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck up. Occasionally, no, I can be both cool are. and careful. <laughs> like now, okay? Close Frank, the door. Uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? <laughs> you aim your gun. At there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the name. Just oh, shoot you in the knee and take the stuff. Okay. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry, that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody. There's. Yeah, yeah. Come on. All right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we do. Oh, yeah. I. Finally, I... I... Dude, she... We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's, He's done, done it before. before. We're only here to talk. Shit, you wouldn't have time. All right. Uh, rescue dog. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? <clears throat> what do you 
hiding or well, the bracelet? Well, he's wearing a bracelet. All right. right. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't, you know, we we don't, don't trust you either, man. We you, you. you want to get shot in the knee, dude? We, we, do, we do that. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch. No, Get no. it. Set the fuck back now. Oh, oh my god. No. Shot him in the knee. Shot me. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Oh, this fucking hurts. Oh, it no. Hurts. Uh, okay, do we have to do it again? Shit. No, just let. He shot in the knee. You, you shot him. You I shot him so many times. Your time power now. doesn't work anymore. Yes, Max, you can change all this. Suffer the consequences want. of your failure. <laughs> we we have to rewind all the way to the beginning again. Let's just Whoa. As long as you didn't kill. That's 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 your line, team? That's the line we can't cross? We got it, right? We got hit he threw it. Oof. That could have gone a bit better, I would say. Yo, Pidget, thank you for subscribing, friend. Appreciate you being here. Team, we're at the top of the hour real quick. We're going to dip away for a five-minute break, and then we're going to come right back to finish up the episode. Amelia, you did a wonderful job. Pompadour is safe, really. Pompadour that was is the safe. only thing Pompadour that mattered. Pompadour is safe. Pompadour is safe. We'll see you all in five. <laughs> Be right back. Welcome back. We got snacks. Mm. And moreover, we got to say thank you because some gift prizes have been given. Woot, woot. Let us name those gift sub givers. It is Esla 200. Thanks, Esla. Celebrating Vapu, which is May Day this weekend in Finland. Oh. Remember to celebrate positive things every once in a while. Kitos, kitos to you, kitos, Esla. Kitos. Thank you very kindly for the prize. If you'd like to win it, just type a thing in the chat and I'm going to pull a winner literally right now. Nice. Thank you all for hanging out. And the winner is. Jack Daw Joker. Congratulations, Jack Daw Joker. Just sent you a whisper, upper right hand corner of Twitch to find out how you can claim your prize. But wait, there's more. There's more? It's true. UK Fangirl Jade has done the thing as well. Aw, thanks, UK Fangirl Jade. Saying, I want a sticker yesterday, so I'm hoping this lovely little sticker will brighten up someone else's day like it did mine and Aww. bring good vibes to the stream. Appreciate you both. We appreciate you back, Jade. <laughs> uh, thank you for the awesome vibes. Thank Let's pull you. another winner for UK Fangirl Jade right about now. All right, type, type, type. If you want to enter yourself to win our new Starship Friendship sticker. It's Majestic Seagull 26. <laughs> Congratulations, Love Majestic it. Seagull 26. But keep typing because we have one more prize I got to name right about now. And then we're going to jump into the last uh, hour of the game. This is from MZ Rudius, who says, So grateful to be here. Wishing everyone a wonderful day. I hope you Aww. all wished a wonderful day. And thank you, friend. Thank you. Uh, for gifting this prize. Let's pull a winner out of the chat. Let everybody have a chance to type, 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 to type, 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 to type. Nice jingle jangle, babe. Very nice. Very gorgeous. It is gonna be... XX Manic, Manic Moth. Congratulations, Ooh. Manic Moth. Congrats, Manic. You are the winner. All right, all friends, right. Amelia's back at the controls. Let's jump back in. Thank you all for the gifts of love. It's exclamation point gift prizes in the chat if you'd like more info on DeckartGames.com. Chloe, are you okay? Oh, I shot a guy a couple times. Yeah. Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please yeah. don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. Yana, thank you for the big, 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 big cheers. And start tying these clues together. All right, let's investigate. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues to Thanks select. To David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. All right. Do 
Doing all of, uh... Basically, all of the clues that are relevant. Kate and that paper. What do you think, team? What are the other clues we should select here? Then I think Feel free to help us in the chat. Need... Map? Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Maybe tracking the truck? Can't touch it. Can't select it anymore. The truth is inside. All right, I feel like this is good, right? These are all the things I can select. Well, I guess not. It's asking you to select three of three. In the upper right-hand corner, it says two of three. Damn. I, I must have missed something. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Not relevant at all, babe. Okay. <laughs> so I have Kate's pictures, the thing about Kate, and then something else. So I guess I'll just deselect all. And then we can just map license plate. And, and the coordinates. coordinates. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Mm -hmm. Spy the mm -hmm. Russ. Mm -hmm. I'm liking that. All right, do I need to do this again? Apparently it's not correct or no. it would let us progress, right? Okay. So maybe the other car, Nathan's car? Nathan's car. There's another car there, I don't know. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. Connect some dots. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the... Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. <laughs> if Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Hold on, what is it, $500,000? All right, hold on. I gotta look at this to just okay, remember. Max, remember so... these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Nathan is rot. And then... Okay. Chloe is bulldog. Okay. So we're looking for things that say rot. Rot, Kate, okay. Kate, Kate isn't on here. Kate didn't buy drugs. Oh, Katie is chihuahua. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. Bulldog. Rot. He okay. can open a store. All right, so that is, has a rot. Look at this. Don't see rot there. Uh, don't see rot there. Nope, no rot. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. All right. There this it is. One. Rot in the middle. 68 bucks. So I think what happened here is that in uh, Europe, they use a comma uh, in the place where we use a point for the sense. So I'm getting a contact high just reading this. It's $500. Now I was going to say five. This dude's having $500,000. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan Bottom. on the same day. For 250 bucks. Party supplies, no doubt. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. I 
did this now. So then we need... What's going on here? Look at that one, please. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? She's cutting class off last week. Yeah. All right, so then let's select this. And then coordinates. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Those clues Yo, are not killer related. sheep. Thank you for the double gifted subs, killer sheep. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, killer. She dynamite with a laser beam. Guaranteed to blow your mind. Every time. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. So this is not correct then. So looking at this is I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Hmm. Uh, Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. I think it's this fight thing, but the two the two pictures of these two cars, the, this one, that one, and the coordinates, please. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. David okay. Clues. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Put it all together and what have you got? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Like it. So. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Select. 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 Damn. I, I must have missed something. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. All right, what's Nathan's license plate number, babe? Twilight Zone. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Looks like this is not relevant at all. Yep, another car David was tracking. Why the hell are you following Twilight these Zone. people? Twilight Zone. And to where? Twilight Zone. Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Alright, this is the wrong vehicle. Is Since this Warren's car? Is this Warren's truck? No, we're looking for Nathan, right? I know, but what I'm suggesting is we might be looking at the wrong vehicle. I think this is... What is this? Wasn't... Isn't this... Isn't this Nathan? Isn't that Nathan? That's Nathan's? Right? So, does this... Look at that. Does that have the same duct tape on it? Triangle on this one, please. Twilight Zone. Yeah, but that's not the same. There's there's not duct tape on there. What about this one? Hold on. I don't see duct tape on this one. There's duct tape on the bumper. Oh. So is it? look at the duct tape on that bumper. Two red trucks. I can't. You have to unselect that. Hmm. Who see, does this different. car belong to? SXFT. That's the one we're looking for. Maybe it's the other coordinates map. Maybe I like that one. Yeah, that one. Okay, Nathan's tail light is busted. And I'm oh yes. There we go. Finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. My 
have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Fire? This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. Okay, but so those maybe numbers it's might be useful. 9535, let's try that. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. No. All oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. What's the student file say? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. A lot of numbers. Okay, what do people use? He's gonna use, look at his look at his numbers again. His GPA? No, nobody uses our GPA for a code. That doesn't make any sense. His, his birthday. birthday. August 29th, 1995. August 29th. So maybe. 0829. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Investigate. Long to type. Let's start hacking. 19 What was it? 1995 his birthday? No, it's not his year, it's the birthday, 0829. Yeah. I think I remembered that from last time. Ah, uh, okay. What up, need the G? Oh, cool. Water. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. <sighs> he didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. <sighs> now I can fish. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Mm. Eliza Fran, thank you for the cheers and blue cheese. Welcome back for four months. I see Guisperdix. Thank you for being here with your prime. All right, Take a breath, bit. Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Anybody else overwhelmed? This is overwhelming, right? Like, it, it, it would be different if you could read all of it at one yeah, time. But the fact that you have to pull one up to look at it and then uh -huh. put it back down again. Okay. So, this is not it. Not it. That's the middle one. Hey, I need to score SAP, making house calls. All right, is the top one, is this one between, is this Frank? I think he's talking to Frank in all of them, it seems like. Okay. And then what what did he call the get the, the uh, what's Nathan's code name? Rot. Let's look for Rot. Ding. <sighs> okay. Okay. And then we need a picture. Oh. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? Oh, those are all rot. 
Okay, so I, I see what we need to do. We have to... So 10, from, 10, 4. 10, 4 at 10, 24. Okay, so we're going to look... This is 10, 07, so that's not Not the right it. day, not so the right day. Deselect. Ten oh four. Okay, so this could be it. Let's leave Select. that one for now. And then we have to find the same. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Ten four. This could be it. Nah, it's that's late at night. That that would be after. No, but we we met up with them at eleven, right? P.M. It's P.M. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So. He could be hiding clues there too. I am a little bit tortured, team. Right. I don't like this part at all. <laughs> I don't like it. I think it's tedious as I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. I think if Not all of these clues there. were were on a screen that I could see at a time, Ooh, it's one. it's the it's the Yeah. It's like Chloe. This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. Got it. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's shitty old barn, I remember that. Owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. All right. Off to the creepy barn. What could go wrong? Something to keep the conflict up. We're the protagonists. We have to do it alone. Otherwise, what else would it? How else would it? Thank you. Just the two of us. Hmm. Gotta get the engine checked on your car, Chloe. Makes that high pitched Holy sound. Holy shit! This is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Oh, hey, squirrel. Nice! Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes, Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, no. look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, 
old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I'm gonna have to lift some haystacks. Damn, lots of info here. Just rotting wood. Hey, Darius, welcome back three months. Hello to you. So many haystacks, so few needles. <sighs> Nothing here. <sighs> Nothing here. You think we're gonna find like a hidden thing on the floor? In this picture. Let's look for something. Photo. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Racks. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess Great. the Prescotts were just born bastards. This tractor has paid its dues. Anything? Chloe would make a great detective too. The good old days. We check the ground there. I think so. I look again, it's hard to tell. They all look the Different scene. Different animation. Oh. What is this? Creepy trap it's door. It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Be with the pitchfork? No, 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 with the thing. That, okay, that Chloe. Thing. Yeah. I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Run that machine. Over here. <laughs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Computron, welcome back for three Side years, my friend. Your service. Thank you for the 36 months of support. All right? Yeah. Huff, huff, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <laughs> Old motor. Climb it. Take a photo of the owl. Why not? Oh. <laughs> so bad. It's like, I was snoozing, He's but... Like, why would you do that to me? 
What are we doing up here anyway? Please be careful up there, Max. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Oh, the maybe we can rewind time for the thing that bring that up. No, no, no. No. No, you gotta be, you gotta be up there though. Do you, with it. Would you like to? And we gotta tie this rope to that thing. But first, we gotta rewind it so it's up here. Rewind faster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then look at it. Talk about heavy metal. I could use that to open the hatch. Right? Now let's okay. attach it. What's up, Ty Ty? Welcome. Hello to you in France. Push it. Pull it. Pull it. Max Giver strikes again. Nicely done. Cool little. Cool. <clears throat> All right, into the secret tunnel. Seems especially bad. Do I even need to say how weird this is? It's very weird. He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. <sighs> Not ideal. This bunker is so surreal. We need a code. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. You got any codes, Chloe? Do we have, can we look at the, that piece of paper that Nathan had? Where was it? I think if you go to your, yeah, and then look at our notes. any of our stuff. Some numbers on the keypad looked really used. That's a good pro tip. Now that's a serious door. Where's the game? First a padlock, then a digicode. That's true. Oh yeah. Yeah, Someone three of really them doesn't want visitors. All right, uh, I mean, 254. We're just gonna guess our way in? I guess so. You can 259? do it, Max. No. 254. 254. Oh, pink. How about pink. 245? How about 524? 542. Yes. Oh! I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Came from the back of my deep brain, maybe. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. I do not like it here. I do not like this place. I do not like... Is Nathan's way, face. This is way cleaner. What the hell is this? God. Uh, scary pictures. Weird shit. Ah, the apocalypse entertainment system. Seems like, um. Jesus, I already hate this place. Somebody likes their whiskey. It 
Ew. What about in the corner? Drugs. Look at it. Needles and drugs. Fuck, nothing about Rachel here. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Tripod. So who's using this fancy tripod? Oh, look at all this weird shit. What is she looking at? Weird shit, like we are. What's with the press got to Ah, the out. Apocalypse Entertainment System. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Ugh. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Um, oh I hate God. it here. Rachel. Kate, I do think that's Nathan's all jacket. These files. This I wanna run away. Actually feels evil. I wanna run away. Can I leave? Faster? Go to the junkyard. I hate it in there. Uh, That's such a horrible place. Like the worst.
Okay. Okay. Here we go. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her, so we could get real justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way, especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. that eclipse you're right look at the outline i can't tell if they're different what is that, that? can't be too much jesus chloe look up at the sky Possible. beautiful two i don't moons. give a shit the world is two ending. moons cool you're not listening something major is going down that's right nathan prescott is going down they should call the police yes they should but they won't because we are the protagonists Welcome to the end of the world ladies I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey, I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know, I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture, uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Hey, Enrose Arch, welcome back. Hey, congratulations, and thank you for being here and celebrating with us. Yes, happy early birthday. Where the hell are you? Ugh. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and... You bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. 
I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Thanks. We need to find Nathan and take him down. Alyssa! Oh my god! Alyssa! No, not on my watch. Alyssa! You're gonna get... Oh damn it, no! How do I save Alyssa? You have to warn her, I guess. I want to save her every time. We've saved her every This bullshit clock. Gonna go and say, hey, Courtney said I really need to go in there. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the big.
stop the music, okay? DJ, what the fuck? What the fuck, DJ? Oh my you God. set up like a ton of electronic equipment around a pool. You dumb. Hey, you. Yes, you. I don't know. No, it didn't happen. Didn't happen, didn't happen, didn't happen. It never happened. At least no one got electrocuted. I know, I definitely thought everyone was going to get electrocuted. Better to kill the vibes than some of the guests, you know? Let me in. Nathan is the vortex clock. So his ass has to be here tonight. What does Kate say? Kate says... Thanks so much for coming by. You lifted my heart. Oh, nice. No problem. Just kind of in the middle of it right now, okay? Victoria, I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Just real quick. It, we do a lot of talking to people we don't like in this game, right? It's true. Like, I don't, is it just me? But in, in my life, if I've met someone I don't particularly enjoy, I just don't <laughs> talk to them. I guess high school is different because you're kind of <laughs> stuck together, but. Yeah. I just would, I would just walk away. Like Mr. Walk Jefferson away. gives why did a I, shit Why did I even try to warn you? Have you ever even watched his body language when you try to cuddle up to him? Sad though. I gotta go, I don't like you. Nobody says we have to be friends, Max. We don't, we're not friends. Why not? Why aren't we friends? Good. I have real friends. I wouldn't want a fake one. Oh, right. You're the faker, acting like you cared when I was covered in that paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. You did that? You bitch. You could have killed me with that fucking can. I almost got that freak Samuel fired. And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me. No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. All right, big moral decision, time stands still. Do we tell her about the dark room or do we not warn her? Ah. Honestly, I think we have to warn well, we, her. Yeah, we still have to tell from her. From a moral point of view, even if we don't like her. Yeah. I still think that she doesn't deserve any kind of horrible fate in a dark room. 
Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults <laughs> now. So listen to me. Your I life just had to high school serious. bullshit for a second. I know you're close to Nathan. Max is getting kind of demonic on us. Unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Okay. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted I'm sorry, I still can't him. hear anything you you're saying. It's so loud. It's that so loud. So you're lame and lazy, Max. Mouth is just moving, but I don't really even oh, care oh, about yeah. you anymore as a character. This. Let me go. After what happened Free me from this crap. Can you see serious? That's your problem, Max. We don't this like each other. It's established. It's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even Just... you won't bother me anymore. Okay, I'll bye. I know if he finally shows up. Not a sustainable solution. Au revoir. Bye. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs> All right, let's oh. talk to Chloe. Okay, I tried. She's not gonna believe me over her Vortex Club partner. There you are. Oh. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Oh, By the way, okay. now some official Everybody school conference. business. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I like that, 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 that violates your sense of truth, right? That he would be there? Or that well, he would I be mean, there and announcing a school thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that, if he was just there like creeping in the corner, I'd be like, well, I mean, it could happen. But the fact that he's like, and this is now a school function for just a split second, well, even I though mean, all of you are completely underage. But they're hosting this party at the school. This is in the the gym. They're by the pool. So, so what's there's happening? a lot is of this, red flags. Is this, I mean, is this first, a, of all, first of all, there's high school students but that it, are drinking by the pool, which is like, you know. I be, just don't I just don't understand. He could be chaperoning. But then why are they all they're all drunk. drinking? They're all super drunk. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. In Europe you can't you can you drink in high school? What's the drinking age in Europe? Well here it's twenty one. It might be 18 in Europe. Is it 18? Yeah. But I mean, assuming you can't be drinking at a school still, probably, right? Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. I don't know, actually. Th this is definitely in the U.S., though. So I know, but there's other things like the comma, you know, in the in the way that the money is written out. There's just I'm just I'm curious if it's a lost in translation thing and people in Europe are dancing with teachers and drinking at the high school, or if this is just a very, very unusual high school, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. You are so hot. Now this is the most important <laughs> step in being an artist, sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, 
and everything our school stands for. As, as far as Ranger. I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my. <laughs> Come on! What a shot. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. <laughs> Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Just like in the total silence. You suck, yes, Victoria. I, I don't even have to yell it, I can just say it. Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now, me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Who was that? I don't know. Was that Allison, I hope? I hope that was Allison, just... Alyssa? Alyssa, that's what it is, yeah. I got hit in the head with a pool noodle, and now I see the truth. Ninja Noodles, welcome back for 53 months. Ninja Noodles. And Laura, Laura Elizabeth, welcome back for seven. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. No, the final chapter will be next week, team. We are in episode four of five right now. Two moons. Two moons. That's no moon. That's a battle station. <laughs> For real though, what if that was the Death Star up there? Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. two moons <laughs> <laughs> I'm deviant RK 800 thank you for that <laughs> all right here we go the unmarked junkyard grave of a friend without any police or anything just a gun Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Rachel. <sighs> Rachel. Max, please hurry. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Gonna like this. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson! No! no! You see? Do you see? Blech. Blech. 
we say. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Amelia, what have you, you want to look through your choices, what we got? All right, so we made choices. Mr. Jefferson done it. Okay. We oh, so we were in the minority to refuse Chloe's request in the past. Two thirds of you. All right, we were in the slight minority that let Na uh, Warren beat up Nathan. We wounded Frank, but did not kill him, though 76% of people, unlike us, were able to keep Frank from harm. Uh, Victoria did to. not believe us. No, no, Victoria doesn't believe us. She'll never believe us. Uh, Blue Jays died. What? The bird's nests were not disturbed. Yeah, yeah. David's files uh, were got in another way without the code. Mm-hmm. Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Thanks, Kate. You didn't motivate Daniel to attend the Vortex Club party. No, uh, who's Daniel? Exactly, and uh, you didn't leave a message on Warren's slate. You figured out Nathan's pin, and we helped Alyssa always do, though we refer to her as Allison sometimes by mistake, but Alyssa, Allison is fine. Wait, who who is Daniel? <laughs> we didn't motivate him. But I don't even know him. Dorcarella, welcome back for 18 months. Oh, the artist. The one who had nice art. That's right. But was a That's little right. bit pretentious. Yeah, that'll happen. Okay. All right. That'll happen. So what do y'all think? Here is a question from a branching narrative point of view. How do you like this, uh, like a end of game recap where it gives you these like percentages of how people chose versus for instance, like the, uh, the flow chart from yeah. Detroit Become Human. What do you think between Having like these little like chapter selectors or a flow chart. Do you have a preference between the two? You love it. You like to see it. You like the you like the percentage. You prefer the flow chart vibe. Um, you like them both. So does this encourage you to want to play it again and make a different choice? Yeah, because here's what's here's what's the big difference I think between the flow chart and this, is that the flow chart shows you that there was another choice, but it doesn't necessarily tell you what the other choice was. Yeah. Whereas this says you didn't help Alyssa, so I know what the other choice is. Uh-huh. I don't know. Also, I'm not sure this the flowchart is different because it shows you the kind of the chronology of these uh -huh. things, the timing of them and where you would go back to deviate. Whereas this you just kinda gotta know like I'm just gonna go back and like for instance, the you helped Alyssa thing here looks mm -hmm. like a minor choice and then these are the different episodes. That's oh, I see. So, where was the piece where it said about her yes. accepting us? Oh, here we go. Okay, so these are the major choices. Mm -hmm. It looks like we have four major choices, and then we have minor looks choices. like eight minor choices. So, do you think the minor do the minor choices add up to be being as influential as the major choices, or are the major choices the big forks in the road, and these are just for flavor? Or people who have, who are, do we have any experts of Life is Strange who've played this game like more than two times or more than three times? Chriso Games, welcome back for 20 months. Minor choices matter. They, they do all add, add up. up. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, Chica Chicken has a good point saying that the flow chart not showing you um, what could have happened adds to wanting to play it again so that you could see the other choices. Right, right, right. So I think a little bit of the mystery helps to want to replay that there is something else you could have done then. Um, uh, Everyday Gamer, the, the big question was these m more minor choices, do they add up and have consequences or is it just to give flavor? Yeah, like is there like a, is there like a, a value system to them, you know? Like are they worth a certain amount of points? Um, so the minor ones, uh, they develop the relationship with the side characters, but don't necessarily change the bigger ones. That makes sense. You do like the percentages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the percentages are cool to see how your choices ranked compared to other players. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think that not knowing what the other choices were would make me more likely to want to go back to see right, right, versus right. knowing what the other choice was. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, Aaron Gray likes it like they did it as Dusk Falls with the flowcharts and percentages. Mm, so taking both. A little each. Yeah. Um, yeah, the minor choices are more like Easter eggs or little achievements in your mind. So it seemed also like thinking of, because we, in this, in this uh, today's episode, 
I, we were focusing specifically on the types of choices that we were given as the player. And I felt like a lot of them were asking, were like, what kinds of questions do you want to ask? Mm -hmm. um, how you're going to... Well, let's look at the big ones, okay. right? So yeah. the, the big ones, this is the moral question about uh, Chloe's assisted overdose. Yeah. You can let Warren be up, so action or inaction. Mm -hmm. Both of those are action or inaction. Um, there seemed to be a level of uh, uh, successful negotiation yeah. or uh, making like the right choices. Making it, making it through a dialogue interaction to successfully not wound Frank if you do it enough times. I personally just ran out of empathy on that because the, the looping audio thing, like hearing the same voice lines over and over again to me, wears my brain out. Um, then Victoria didn't believe our warning. Is that because of the conversation we had? It was I'm probably, guessing. It was probably we were because like, we, fuck you, you yeah. suck, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think because um, of the nasty choice. So if we had been friendlier to her in just that interaction? Yeah. Or does it have to do with our, our experience otherwise? Because like when we spill the paint on her, we have to spill the paint on her. We yeah, can't get past. I right? think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think that the reason that she didn't warn us was because of the way that we chose to interact with her at the Vortex Club party. In that conversation. Yes, yes. Okay. So I think that if we Oh, we, we were really chosen, mean on Victoria. We told her... Yeah. We, we told... We, we were giving her some of her own medicine. Yeah, we were done with that. So I think that if we had been nicer to her, she probably would have believed Yeah, they us. had a little interaction earlier where they kind of got on the same... Max and Victoria were kind of on the same page, and then I think we, we bailed on it. So maybe it goes back and forth, and then it depends with the player what your point of view is by the time you get there. Um, okay, Mitsurugi says, in narrative games, I really need the dialogue to be skippable or even full s scenes that I've played through. Um, yes, I'm with you on that, especially for the replay. Yeah. You know, like, if you're gonna play back through it again, it really, like... You know, with respect to the fact that, like, other things are happening in our day, mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think that if if the scene is going to happen or something's going to play out the same, no matter what choice you make, to have the option to be skippable, unless it's, like, a really very different situation because of a different choice that you're making. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the major choices here uh, in the previous. All right, Chrysalis is the first one. We've reported Nathan or we hid the truth. That's so a moral either, question. So, yeah, that, that question is about, you know, speaking up or swallowing. You made fun of Victoria or you comforted Victoria. So that's a point of view question. Uh-huh. You took a, faded, a photo of David harassing Kate or we intervened to help Kate. So basically, action are you or just, inaction. Yeah, action or inaction. Um, we took the blame for Chloe. We could have blamed Chloe. We could have stayed hidden or we came out of hiding. So that's a choice, action, and, action or inaction, but also with the variable mm -hmm. action. Like how much do you want to like get on her side? The major choice is an out of time. We told Kate to go to the police. Or to, and the other option was to wait for more proof. So again, that's inaction or action of saying like, basically sitting on the sidelines or telling her what she should take the reins. Yeah, um, no, uh, I think Halio Katz, there's not a way to prevent Rachel from dying because it happens before the events of this game. Yeah. I think that Max doesn't have her, her superpower. Um, we'll be finishing it next, next uh, Saturday. Uh, tried to shoot Frank or did not try to shoot Frank, saved Kate or didn't save Kate, and then who do we blame? We blame Nathan in the moment, but mm -hmm. seeming that Mr. Jefferson extra danger. You know, actually, I'm seeing a uh, similarity between this game and Life is Strange True Colors now, that in both of the cases, the person who was the most popular with the, with the town uh, or with the student body, it actually is the one who's behind the bad vibes. Perhaps. Right? Let's not get into details because perhaps people haven't played that other game. Right? True color, true colors, spoilers. We're not going to get into true color spoilers. Well, we've played it. So technically, we, if you're here with us, then you're kind of... We've, pay, we've played it. Well, let's, let's, I don't want to ruin other, right. other games in the same franchise um, for the sake of one conversational uh, so Chloe can have David's gun or Frank has David's gun. And then these are the big moral questions again. So then the small, the smaller choices were like, did we take a photo of things or did we interact with smaller beats as we were going? Um, true, Life is Strange, True Colors is, is a really, is a really uh, nice evolution of all of these ideas. So 
It's kind of cool to walk them all back. Um, Lisa, the plant is dead. Over water, Lisa. Yeah, that's a that's <sighs> a typical thing of overwatering plants. Thinking you're you're helping them, but actually you're drowning them. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. Team, I think we should uh, discuss between ourselves where we shall raid because we're about to. We got wobble dogs. Number one in the chat, if you want to check out Wobble Dogs. I don't know what that is, but if I, I kind of hope it wins, honestly, right now. So I can see what is Wobble Dogs. Stardew Valley, number two in the chat, or number three in the chat, Cult of the Lamb. What's it going to be, friends? Let me know with a one, a two, or a three in the chat. And while we're on the subject, while we're on the subject. now, moderators. Thank you, mods. Thank you, mods. Thank you, lieutenants. Thank you so much. Appreciate you all hanging out with us and for your awesome support on today's stream. Our mods are always finding the best raids on the all the... Oh, Wobble Dogs. Oh. Huh? Wobble dogs, wobble dogs. I'm voting number one for wobble hey, dogs. Hey, Miss Okami, thank you so much for the Ipsub group hug. Hey, Miss Okami, thank you kindly. Thank you. Thank you much, muchly. Thank you, Miss Okami, for the <laughs> love. Boop you. If you got a, if you got a gift sub for Miss Okami, please be sure to thank her. And also, check out the starter kit. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna be playing Resident Evil 4, the remake as Ethan and Winters. Tuesday, we're going to go touch some grass and be outside. So come and join us Tuesday morning. And Friday, it's Overwatch season two, four, three. Not really immediately relevant. We are not playing in a ranked game. Do, 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 do. It's Wobble Dogs. Nice. Wobble Dogs. Wobble, wobble dogs. dogs. Wobble Dogs wins wobble, the wobble, day. Wobble. All right. Thank you all for hanging out. I uh, look forward to seeing you for. Oh, no. Wobble Dogs just raided. No. All right, what was number two on the poll? What it was, was Cult of the Lamb. Okay. Uh, cult of the Lamb. Cult of the Lamb. Immediate U-turn to Cult of the Lamb. It's okay, team. It's okay. Wobble Dogs is out there next time. We're going to we're gonna get Wobble Dogs next time, team. We're going to get them. Okay. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take a look at your clock. Subtract three and one half hours from that. Three and a half hours earlier is noon Pacific Standard Time. That's when Amelia and I go live. On Saturday and on Sunday. Ico JPEG, thank you for the gift sub as well. Thank you, Ico. Thank you for the, for the triple gifted subs. Uh, uh. Hey. <laughs> we'll see you all soon. We'll have some fun. My name is Brian. My name's Amelia. And this, this is, is our, our Twitch. Twitch. Thank you all for hanging out with us. Thanks again, mods and lieutenants. Appreciate you all being with us. Thank you for the good vibes, friends. We'll see you all in five in five. I will We're gonna see raid. You. We're gonna raid yeah. in five. Four. four. Three, two, one. one. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Raid, 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 raid.